everyone, and welcome to Sakura. We are the first resident in Sakura, Irene and Olivia. What? So you come from another planet? Yes, we are the first people to live in Tigard and Star B, a planet 94% similar to Earth. Tigard and Star B has enough oxygen to breathe. I still can believe it. Then we'll tell you a story. A long time ago, even before Tigar and Starby was found, there was there were wild animals roaming all over this place. Then one day, a person named Sakura found this planet and found the only place where the wild animals did not come. So she studied about their place and found that there was a large plastic dome with oxygen in it. It was as big as a city and had wild berries which were edible. So she brought some crews to the place and now we are here from the city of Sakura. We know this story because we are one of the crews that Sakura brought here. What a great story! It is true, we even have a model of our community. Ta-da! Ta-da! We proudly represent the model of Sakura MS. Sakura means cherry blossom in Japan, so the whole apartment is in, is in a flower shape. What is the circle in the middle? It is the central park. There are also some main buildings in there, like the fire station or the police station. There is also a large hospital here. But there is a big problem. What? There isn't much oxygen because of the large population. Do you have a solution? Of course. There's a giant air cleaner in this corner of this community here. It is kind of like a giant tree. It cleans up all the space that's in the air and makes it into breathable air. It also produces air for farming. People are trying to use this air as cleanly as they can. They came here because of the completely polluted air in Earth and they don't want the same thing to happen in our new planet, T Garden Star B. But then, that isn't the only problem. What is it? There isn't much food and water in TR Star B. Our main goal for our environment is health. That's why we need to have healthy food and clean water to drink. Oh, so that makes the problem bigger. Yes, so we got a great solution. We can use the natural environment around us. For example, we can use the cacti and the lake water to to drink. For instance, we can squeeze cacti or filter water from the lake. How can we get food from Earth? We don't bring food, we get seed. Then we can have a green greenhouse for the seed to grow. Like humans who lived on Earth, we'll farm just like what they did. We can bring fertilized soil from Earth to Tea Garden Star Bay to make the crops more healthy and delicious. By the way, did you know that the environment in Tigar and Star B is a locked planet? One side is always cold and one side is always hot. The average temperature in the hot side is 28 degrees Celsius. Wow, that is very hot. Another problem is that the landform is very rocky. That makes it hard for people to build apartments. So we got a solution. We can put the cement on the rocky surface and the ground would be flat. Then people can be stable on the ground and not fall down or get injured. Are there any other challenges or problems? Of course there are. There are massive solar flares. What is a solar flare? It is an asteroid on fire. They are enormous. Tell me the solution. There is an underground city that you can hide in whenever a solar flare comes. Oh, what does it look like inside? It is just like a normal community, but it's only underground. While a solar flare, solar flare comes, to our, comes toward our planet, we can stay in the underground city. But there is another solution too. What is it? There are tunnels every matter and we can go inside those tunnels too. Oh, so you don't have to worry about anything? Of, of course. course! Our community has lots of unique features. Even the 
though there are lots of problems, we always have excellent solutions for them. Especially problems like radiation or solar flares. Overall, we told you about the four problems, which are about radiation, air, things we can consume, and also about the distance from Earth and also the massive solar flares. I know the solutions. We have sun cream and also shelters. There is a giant air clean for the oxygen, and we can use lakes and cacti for water. With the water, we can drink it and also produce vegetables and fruits to eat. The environment is different and we can hide in the underground tunnel. Exactly! exactly. I'm quite satisfied with all the information. So when, when can we visit Tea Garden? Maybe later when the technology is much better than now. Thank, Thank you, you for listening. listening. Goodbye! Goodbye.